So, during my years as the world's most prolific rock biographer, a dubious title at best, which was 1984 to 2006, I think it was, yeah, let's do this. Um, I wrote 30 something books. And although I'd met a lot of my subjects, I didn't know any of them until I wrote this book, Behind Blue Eyes, on Pete Townsend from The Who. I, I, I know Pete well. Well, I know Pete. And uh, I'm happy to say that uh, I think he has some respect for me, and, and for, even for the book. Um, I've discussed it briefly with him. I've got a couple of emails when it came out. So let me tell you a little bit about my relationship with Pete Townsend. In 19, I used to, uh, you know, I was a hippie, and hippies would take acid and mushrooms and stuff, and, and that gave you a, another idea that maybe there was some other consciousness. And a natural progression, when when that was like, well, we can't be doing this all fucking day, was to uh, get into spirituality. So we would look, we would go to India. Some of us, I did, go to India and fool around, futz around with different guru, this guru, that guru. And I ran across a character with a capital C called Meha Baba, who said he was God, said he was the avatar, the silent avatar. He didn't speak for 40 years. And uh, I don't know if he was God. I don't know if there's a God, but he was a very special man. And I got interested in studying and reading about Meha Baba. And it just so happens that Pete Townsend from The Who was also a devotee or admirer or a lover, as they say, of Meher Baba. And um, I was at the Meher Baba Center in Myrtle Beach, South or North Carolina. I can't remember. I've been out of America a long time, somewhere down there. And I was with Kitty Davy, who was original from the 30s, very old lady, Baba disciple. And she said, oh, yes, you know, it's a... Peter, do you know Peter? Uh, uh, Peter? No, no, yes, Peter Townsend. You know, he's, 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 I think he has some sort of musical group. And oh yes, yes, I believe I have heard of the Who. Yes. He said, oh yes, of course, the Who. That's it. He said, I think I have his address here somewhere. Um, oh yes, here it is. You might want to. You might want to write to me. Maybe you, would, you two boys would like to. Mm. So I wrote him a letter, and it was very carefully. You know, I took a long time to write this letter. It was in 1976. And he wrote me back, and he invited me to come and uh, visit him, and uh, do some kind of like be a. It was sort of wasn't really spoken, but I ended up being a, like a personal assistant to Pete, and therefore I got to uh, know the Who a little bit, a little bit, not too much. I don't like to overstate these things. I wasn't best buds with these people, but I met the Who and uh, Roger and Keith, and. Uh, Pete and Pete was and is a very he's an intellectual in a, in a, in a non-intellectual field rock and roll and a great writer so I, I, I was there with Pete for the summer for a, a short period of time in the summer of 1976 and there was a bit of a falling out between us which was entirely my fault the details are in the book um, and uh, but we kept in touch, and I drifted in and out of my interest in Meher Baba, as perhaps he has. Uh, I'm a little too old for God now, you know. <laughs> Whatever it is, it is. I don't know. So it's, it's above my head. I, this mystery, these kind of mysteries, is, I can't get my head around anymore. But okay, it's, it's, he was an amazing guy. Mayor Bob, and so uh, Pete, um, so I, when I became like, there, there was, in 1984 I wrote a book on the Beatles and it became a, like a worldwide smash hit. And they kept throwing, I just wanted to be an actor, but they kept throwing money at me to 
write these books. So I did, I first I did The Beatles' a Celebration, then I did John Lennon, My Brother, and then I did Dark Horse, The Private Life of George Harrison, then I did Blackbird, and somewhere along the line, I said, why don't you let me write, a, at this point I could write my own ticket, because these books were selling a lot. They make a lot of money around the world. So I could say, I'll do a book. What would you like to do next, Mr. Giuliano? Well, I'd like to write a book on my buddy Pete Townsend. So I got with a very fancy upper crust Mayfair Belgravia uh, a publisher called Hodder and Stout, and I have to look, I can't remember. And they were very hoity toity, very white glove, you know. And they wanted an intellectual book on Peter. So I did my best, but I'm not very smart. They, all I could do was sort of write a you know, fairly good biography. And uh, it came out, and it was, it was well received. I talked to his brother Simon. I said, what'd you think? What'd your brother think? He said, well, it was a little close to the bone, but he liked it. And then I had subsequent emails from Pete with a kind of you know, mm, approval at a distance. I, one, in those days, we used to write letters back in the 70s, so I've got quite a big stack of letters uh, that Pete had written me, and these were letters which were amazingly personal, and uh, very, uh, he took me into his confidence about a lot of his feelings about things, you know, so, and, and, uh, and me too. And uh, we had a good, he later told me, I, last time I saw him was backstage at a Who concert in the, the 90s when I was a big shot. And he told my wife I was good looking when I was young. So I don't know. So, I don't know. Surprised to hear that. What'd you think of what do you think of Jeffrey? I thought he was a really good looking guy. I don't know. Anyway, that's finished now, as I say ancient history. <laughs> so um I hadn't seen him in since seventy six, so I met him in the mid nineties, and when he saw me, I said Fuck you! And he said, and they thought they wasn't quite sure what's going to happen. So, because he wrote me a letter once, told me I should not try to be a writer. He said, just get a job and work. You know, forget the pie in the sky bullshit. You're going to be a fucking writer. Forget about it. You know, this is, you know, take care of your family. I said, good fucking thing I didn't listen to you. You know, and he picked me up, which is not it, which is no small feat. And he spun me. He's a big bloke. And he spun me around and he hugged me and he said, yeah, this is the fucking don't ever listen to me. So I gave him copies of all my books, and he's a lovely guy. And he had a little problem there with uh, being accused of child uh, pornography. Um, I don't know quite what I think about that. I never saw anything when I knew him. And I stayed at his house with him and Karen and the girls. So I never saw anything like that. You never know what's going on in people's minds. Everybody has their things. I don't know. Don't know about that. So again, um, you know, when you write a book, what you do is basically rent it out. You lease it out to a publisher, and when they're done with it, you get the rights back. But, I mean, that's easy to say, but you have to go, there's a process for that. And usually they don't want to give them back, and you got to fiddly fuck around with these jerks, you know, uh, cowboys. And eventually I got the rights to this and all my books back, and now I'm going through them and putting them out again on my own imprint icon edition. So behind blue eyes, for all you Who fans. Now, unlike my other books where I just kind of like stop them at where they originally stopped in the book. No, no, Pete's continues to be interesting. So this I'm going to update, this is a couple years away now, or 2016, maybe a couple years this thing will end up coming out again. Print on demand and download on iBooks, right? Which is how they do it now. Cut out the publisher, thank God, so an author can make a few bucks. Anyway, this book I'm going to update because Townsend continues to be interesting, continues to be a challenge, and it's because he's our uh, the grand, grand old uh, uh, man, uh, intellectual statesman of rock and roll, and therefore I think that unlike all my other subjects, I probably will take this right up to the day that it's published in, in his interesting life. So I hope that you'll enjoy that. Take a look. Let me know what you think.